we have returned after a little bit of a uh, pause to uh, resume the uh, Battle of Ligny scenario one. Um, we're at the three o'clock turn, and uh, this is the second turn of the gameplay. A uh, couple of things. Uh, first, I have a new microphone that I'm using. So hopefully that will improve the sound quality, at least when I'm talking. A um, couple of other things. I'm using some new uh, editing software, so I'm hoping that that will be exciting and make things kind of fun to watch too. Um, if we look here at our disposition, it hasn't really changed much. The only thing that I've done differently is uh, cut down the uh, obscured markers so there uh, you can actually see the Prussian units that are obscured uh, because of the terrain. Um, and the other thing is that uh, somebody had noticed in the first game uh, uh, turn that I had played the um, Prussian land rear units that were here in this special structure, um, they were not supposed to, to uh, have that cascading um, uh, morale check because they are in a general order terrain. Um, so I have returned them to where they were at and uh, pretty much everything else is the same as it was before. Um, so we we'll can uh, begin uh, the turn. So first off we have our command segment. This is where we need to identify um, and uh, assign our uh, command points to create maneuver units. And the French have one, and the Prussians the French have, have one. placed theirs on Girard, and the Prussians on Steinmetz. The first chit that's pulled is the Prussian maneuver unit, and so they are going to uh, do their movement. Uh, there's no cavalry charge uh, because there are no cavalry in this uh, scenario. It's just infantry. So they're going to be uh, moving a little bit. Uh, most of the units will stay in place, um, but what they'll be doing with a few of their units is moving them up adjacent to the French um, for two reasons. One, so they can take a shot at the French, and the second reason is to uh, prevent the French from kind of um, uh, building up some speed when they come in and roll to close. Um, and we'll see how that looks in just a second. So the Prussians have moved uh, one of their infantry uh, battalions forward, and they've also pushed forward uh, their Jaegers, and the uh, rifle company has also moved up um, so they can take a shot there at the uh, 82nd, uh, 1st Battalion of the 82nd uh, French. And now it's time for the French defensive fire phase. We're going to start over here uh, with the uh, skirmishers uh, French skirmishers shooting at these Prussian skirmish units at saint amand le hameau The uh, 2nd Battalion of the 11th uh, Laguerre will fire on the uh, Fusilier Battalion in front of it. The odds are 1-1. One to one. The French roll a 32 no effect. Next we have fire from uh, half of the uh, first battalion of the 11th. The odds are 1 to 2 and the roll is a 16. No effect. And now we have fire from the uh, first battalion of the 82nd regiment. The odds are 1 to 1 and the roll is a 53. That's enough for a hit. Their morale is 24, and they rolled a 23. 
So that means a disorder and a retreat back. Our next uh, fire combat is uh, here from the uh, skirmish unit firing on the uh, 12th Infantry uh, Battalion that is in a special order hex. The odds are 1 to 2, and the French roll a 63. That's good enough for a hit. The Prussians have a morale of 24, and that is improved by 6. Uh, being inside the walled farm. They roll a 35 and maintain good order. The hit is recorded and the unit uh, maintains its obscured status. The two increments of Jaegers and three remaining uh, increments of the Fusiliers will now combine their fire on the uh, 2nd Battalion of the 11th Laguerre. The odds are just one point shy of one to one, so we're on the one to one and a half table. The Prussians roll a 34, no effect. Moving down the line, we have two increments of Jaeger and one increment of Schutzen firing on the 1st Battalion of the 82nd. The odds are one and a half to one. The Prussians roll a 66. It's a good thing there wasn't a leader there. The 82nd suffers one increment loss. Our final fire combat of the offensive fire phase is the 1st uh, Battalion of the 12th firing out of the farm at the adjacent French skirmishers. The odds are one to three. The Prussians roll a 55, and it's no effect. The Prussians didn't have any assaults uh, in this turn, so now uh, we're at the reorganization segment, and they will roll uh, for this disordered battalion. They had a minus three to their die roll, and the morale of the unit is 24. With a roll of 51, the Prussians recover. The unit recovers its good morale and it still remains obscured since it stayed in either uh, cultivated or farmette type hexes. All right, it's time for us to go to the draw cup and we draw the uh, reorganization or the um, oh, this chit here where we're it's a chance for regrouping. Um, we don't have any units that are out of command, um, so that uh, we'll just pass on that particular one. All right, next chit drawn from the cup is the reinforcements. Um, we don't have reinforcements, so we can bypass that. Uh, let's see what else we've got in here in the cup. Next we draw the artillery chit. We don't have any grand batteries or howitzers, uh, so nothing to do with that. All right, now we have our leader phase. Uh, we don't have any leaders that we wanted to move. Everyone's pretty much where I wanted them to be. So that leaves the uh, last chit in the cup is going to be the French maneuver. And so now we'll move over and get the French going. All right, it's time for the French to move. We're going to get them going forward. They have to attack some of these units in order to get them to reveal themselves and to start to push the Prussians back. So we're going to do an assault here. Um, we'll be moving these forward. One, two, three, four. Pushing into this cultivated hex and doing an assault there. And then we'll move these guys forward. Three. And mark those units for an assault as well. So we're pushing in all along the line. We'll move this uh, skirmisher forward. We'll condense them into one hex and then push them forward here. 
and we still have these guys on for reserve and the artillery doesn't really have anything to shoot at per se so we'll just kind of leave them there with Gerard currently everyone is still in command so that's where we'll leave things for the moment Right, we'll start here with the uh, company of Jaegers and the company of Schutzen firing on the uh, assaulting column. The odds are one to one and a half. The die roll is a 61. That is a hit on the French column. They don't make a morale check for that first loss and it's marked with one increment loss. Our next fire attack is from the uh, Fusiliers stacked with Steinmetz firing on the incoming French column. The odds are one to one. The die roll is a 65. That is good for a hit. The French mark one increment lost. Our next fire attack will come from the uh, Prussian uh, Silesian Riflemen and the Landwehr unit in the Special Hex. The odds are one and a half to one. The roll is 11. Apparently they had wet powder. Time for the French Laguerre to fire on the uh, Prussian Fusiliers in skirmish order. The odds are 1 to 1. The die roll is a 32. No effect. Now we have the other half of a battalion in skirmish order fire. The odds are 1 to 2. The die roll is a 15. No effect. We now have these two French battalions in column firing on the Jaeger and Schutzen. The odds are 1 to 1. The roll is a 66. That is one increment. The top unit was the company of the 12th Jaeger it only has one increment, so it is destroyed and removed from play. Now time for the assaulting battalion to fire on those fusiliers stacked with Steinmetz. The odds are one to one. The French roll of 45, just missing. Next we have the second battalion of the fourth firing on the uh, riflemen there. The odds are one to two, so the French need to roll well. The roll is a 56. It's a good roll, but it's not enough to score a hit. The uh, final French fire will be the skirmisher units combining on the fusiliers in the special structure. The odds are one to one. The roll is a 52. That's enough for a hit. The 1st Battalion of the 12th now has two increments lost. We'll begin with the assault uh, here on the Silesian Rifle Company. They are in skirmish order, um, so they are going to opt to retreat before combat. The French now make a morale check to see if they can advance into the uh, abandoned hex. They roll a 45 and advance.
moving down the line, we now have this French battalion attacking the uh, Fusiliers stacked with Steinmetz. The French have five increments attacking eight increments of Fusiliers. The French have to uh, the Prussians make a pre melee morale check. The roll is a 51. With the odds bonus and their leader bonus, they easily pass. The French now must make their pre melee morale check. They have a minus for the Prussian being obscured as well as for the uh, odds modifier. The roll is a 24. They must uh, disorder and pull back. They move back and are marked with a disorder. Our final assault is the French battalion against the uh, rifle company. The Prussians are going to opt to retreat before combat. They move back to the farmette. The French will make a morale check to see if they can occupy the uh, hex that was abandoned. The roll is a 55 and they move forward. Now we have a number of obscure markers that the Prussians will have to remove uh, since they were uh, assaulted during this turn. It's time for the French reorganization. They only have one unit that needs to make a morale check. That's this one here that's disordered. They roll a 45. Even with the minus three, that is sufficient for them to recover morale. And this is where things stand at the conclusion of the 3 p.m. turn.